Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I wanted to replace my stores of ash tender, fatwood sticks, and some char cloth. And you might not know what ash tender is. Any tender that you impregnate with ashes, wood ashes, any wood ashes, will turn that tender into a great coal extender. So you can take ash tinder and use it just like any other coal extender. You could use a weak ignition source of solar ignition or an empty bic. Anything, any very weak ember, you can ignite it and it'll sit there and just consume itself until you get ready to use it. And then you could take and easily aerate it into a very hot ember to ignite tinder. The tinder that we're using today is going to be cloth. It could be any tinder that you impregnate. And uh, a year ago I came up with this ashed cloth dispenser. And it's got a little solar collector, solar igniter on the bottom where I polished it up. And so I'm going to take a big long strip of this and impregnate it with ashes. Put some slits in it. The last one that I had in here, I didn't have any slits in it. So I pull out a little piece of it and I'd have to get my knife and try to hold it and cut off a piece of it and I always got a piece that was bigger than I wanted. Today when we use a strip of this uh, fabric, and this is a 100% cotton t-shirt, we'll impregnate it and then I'll put slits all the way along the length of it before I stick it down in the bottle. Now this will tear nicely until we get to this other seam right over here. That's what I have. You really want to work those ashes into the fabric both sides. Now let's cut some slits in it, put it in the dispenser, and we'll try that dispenser out. The solar igniter on the bottom. We'll try a piece of this out before we move on. All right. Got 25 pieces. That all lasts me for a while. Let's get set up in the sun and we'll try the solar igniter on the bottom out. And I just want to let it sit while I'm working on um, the fatwood sticks and just let you see how it'll sit there and just keep on burning. The fabric wouldn't do that without the ashes in there. All right. You always want to do your, wear your shades when doing solar experiments. All right, let's head back to the table and continue on with the fat wood now. We'll just let this burn. Using my Corona saw, I've already got fat wood stuck in the teeth. 
I'll have to wipe it down with WD-40 or Purple Power to get that out of there. See how dark it is? Good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and I'll get some leaves and we'll go ahead and make a fire out of that. Really have to baby leaves and let them get really hot before they'll take off on their own. All right. Solar ignition of ashed cloth leaves tender bundle good stuff so it's always good to have some ash cloth on hand and you don't have to have a big dispenser like mine if you carry a wallet for nail lens like I do that's all you need or if you have an empty BIC that'll ignite the ash tender all right let's get back started on a fatwood stick look at how rich this piece of root is That is some dense, dense fatwood. I'm gonna try to break this up. If this, if this piece gives me too much trouble, I know these pieces will break up into sticks better. We might just set this to the side. Alright, here was my dwindling supply. Oh, look what we made up this morning. Good stuff right here. I went for years without using fatwood sticks. I'm glad I started storing them. Went ahead and started making them. You really start a wet fire a whole lot easier with just one of these sticks. Let's go ahead and start a fire and we'll start uh, making up some char cloth now. Got some good scraps right here to get it all started.
just my little keychain ferro rod. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get it. It's made by Bayite. It's three and an eighth long by five sixteenths thick. And uh, this is what I used to use for a sparrow rod. That's where I used to take and glue a nail right in the end of it to help spear down, hold down tender and stuff. But I mean, it works fine, of course, without the spear glued into it. All right, you want to take your char tin and wipe out all of those lacquers in there. This is a hair products can from Walmart. Um, if you go into the uh, hairdressing area, this is hair. This is hairdressing product, and it's an orange can with. A uh, man and woman on the front of it. And I got about a quarter inch hole in it. I like to have a big vent hole so that those gases can easily escape. And I always use denim, but t shirt material is just fine. No problem. You don't want to overstuff your char tin. Maybe on denim put 10 pieces in or something like this you could put 15 pieces in You know, I do whatever I can to make it easier for the gases to get out of the can. So there's that seam. So I'm turning them 90 degrees out so that they'll stack in here kind of fluffy. And just not pack down, just pack them in there light enough, airy enough to where the gases can escape easier. I just like to cook my char cloth in the flames, not down in the coals. All right. The first thing that's going to come out of that can is going to be white looking steam. 
And when all that steam escapes, then there'll be the uh, flammable gases that come out of there. And they will ignite. When there's no more gases or flames coming out of that hole, take it out and let it cool. And then try it out. My favorite part, try it out. And here's the steel I made out of a Nicholson file. Black Diamond is, is owned by Nicholson. I'm just going to use this little piece of chert right here, this little flake. And then this stick right here, I'm just going to plug that quarter inch hole in the top of my char tin with this plug here. Lob lolly pine needles. We'll let that cool off. It'll take about two, three minutes. All right, let's check it out. Good char cloth should be supple. Soft, shouldn't have any smoke residue on it. Let me get over here to where I can go through it better. And that's what this is. Soft and supple, just like it's supposed to be. This piece here on the bottom, I guess it couldn't off gas well enough. It's just a little bit crispy, so let's go ahead and use this piece up. These other ones feel pretty good. I always like to tear my char cloth in half to expose all of these edges. sharp edge right there. You want to put it right right up close to the edge. Not really over the edge, but even with the edge would be good. And when you have brittle char cloth like that, it'll still work. It just takes longer to ignite it. I like to spread on char cloth. I like to spread it across the whole top of it before I even try to ignite tinder with it.
when we get out in the sun, I want to show you what we ended up with. Here's the char cloth. Here's a <laughs> great big bundle of fatwood sticks. And I've replenished my stock of ash tinder. So let's get out in the sun. I'll give you some good close ups and we'll say our goodbyes. Alright y'all, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to run a fire making instructional channel now. Got all my supplies back. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment and ask. Always go through my description because there's always a ton of good information in the description. Things that I forgot to, to mention, uh, links to related uh, videos on the topics that we talked about so I have a char playlist an ash tender playlist and I don't think I have a fatwood playlist but uh, you should check out my playlist also alright y'all as usual I enjoyed this one thanks for joining me on this one we'll catch you on the next one